So today we're going to be doing an updated hair and makeup routine slash like get ready with me type of thing. So today with my hair we're going to be focusing on reviving my curls. Like so I've already washed my hair like a couple, I know it doesn't look like it but I did wash my hair like a couple days ago. So I feel like I don't really need to wash it again. As you can see I had it in a bun. That's why the curls end up like weird. Um, and then for makeup, we're going to be doing like kind of like what I do usually when I'm taking Instagram pics or making TikToks. Not everyday makeup because it's not very light, but like everyday content making makeup. So we're just going to get straight into it. So most people usually use a water spray when they're reviving their curls, but I find it easier to just dip my head into the shower. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so now that my hair is wet, I'm just going to separate it into two parts and brush it out. Oh, but I'll quickly show you. When I usually do wash my hair, um, I use Curl Please by Matrix for my shampoo and conditioner. And then um, between shampoo and conditioner, I use, I use this hair mask. Um, it's coconut oil hair mask if you want to get that. Um, I did put a little bit of this in just then because my hair was drier than I thought. So I did add a little bit of moisture. I think I'm going to add some more water because I don't know why it seemed to dry so quickly. And then also to help um, while I'm brushing and it's um, really good for your hair, I use argan oil. I just get some of that and just kind of rake it through my hair and it helps a lot with getting the knots out. I don't think that's the purpose of it but look it helps but it also um, makes your curls a lot nicer and shinier I find. Um, sometimes I add some extra oil towards the ends. is good now I'll do this side oh my god look at my hair okay now it's like all brushed out I kind of like make it really straight which is probably not the best when you're trying to make your hair curly um, also with the brush I just brush away from my face before I start doing the curls otherwise um, I find the curls end up really like on my face. Next product I use for my curls is just Go Curly. It's available at like Woolworths and everything. So that was kind of the first curly hair product I ever started using because I just got it at Woolworths. And every time I try and use a new product, I just hate it compared to this one. So I don't know. A lot of people with curly hair probably say that this is like not the best to use, but it's what works for my hair. So, so I'm just going to put a little in the ends of my hair first before I flip my head over just so I can show you guys oh my god the scrunch motion which I'm pretty sure everyone who has curly hair is familiar with this I should not have worn this white top it's going to become very see-through in a minute see how my curls are a lot chunkier when it's wet rather than really separated ones okay now I'm going to flip my head over. This helps with the volume. If you want volume in your curls, you should do this. So this is what it's starting to look like. And you should hear like a squishy sound when you do this to know that there's like enough product. I'm going to add a little bit more oil. I can barely like see but like now the last step is to diffuse so I just have this diffuser it's literally from eBay and then you just literally stick it on your hair dryer So, 
Yeah. This is what I mean by if my hair's not wet enough, it becomes like really separated curls. But basically, this is what my hair ends up looking like. And it has like a lot of volume at the top because I did it upside down. That's what we want because when it's flat, it looks so bad. Anyways, let's get on to makeup now. Okay, so I already wet my beauty blender it's a bit too wet and i'm going to start with foundation i use too faced born this way in the shade sand not many people start with foundation but i just find it's the easiest way and it's just such a weird order but i use the brow technicians eyebrow pencil thingy that has this kind of tip Oh my god, and then it has a spoolie on the other end. I'm sorry, my hand's shaking. I don't know why. So first I brush my eyebrow out. Um, if you notice, I have terrible eyebrows. So I usually start by making a line along the bottom and then a line on the top and then filling it in from there. Okay, so that's my eyebrows done. Now, um, contour. So I use... The Mecca Maxima Off Duty Contour Stick. So now we get the contour. And now we blend it out. So I brush it upwards. Mm, now we're done with contour. So let's do nose contour. I almost missed it. So I just make like a little, I have no idea what to call that shape. So then once that's blended, I then add highlight. So I just get my pinky finger for my nose and go like that. Oh, that's too much at the top, right. And then I just add, oh by the way, the highlight I use is Becca. The big one is the champagne pop and that's what I usually use. Because look at that. Next would be lips. So for the lip combo I'm doing today, um, I'm using Mecca Max Pout Pencil in the shade Classy Maybelline Color Sensational. The color Raw Chocolate. So I use Classy to outline and then Raw Chocolate on the middle. That is the lip look. Um, next I'm going to do eyeliner because I feel like it. I used to wear eyeliner a lot, then I stopped and now I'm like, I like it again. I always go through eyeliner phases. So, I'm going to do a wing. I'm going to attempt to do it on camera. I'm not very good when it comes to pressure. I follow the line of my, like, under eye. Like, I, if my under eye line was to keep going up, that's what I follow, I guess. So that is my attempt at eyeliner. Not my best work, but it'll do. So I'm gonna add mascara. I just use um, Maybelline Sky High mascara. And I put it a little on my lower lashes and then a bit on my upper lashes to blend them with the falsies. Now I'm adding fake lashes. I just have this like giant packet of lashes I got from Shein for like $8. And then the eyelash glue I use is Duo Strip Lash ad Adhesive or something. Okay, so we're basically almost done. Just to finish it off, I just get the same brush I use for no my nose contour. And I use my Fenty Beauty um contour and just put that a bit on my eyelids and i'm still waiting for the glue to dry so it's like a little 
white around there. Okay, so now I'm gonna go put on an outfit. Okay, so this jumper is from Shein and same with my shorts. Uh, and then I made this necklace. It's a moonstone with my star sign. Here's my makeup. And I'm gonna go take some Instagram pics. That is all I have for today's video. Make sure you subscribe because next week's video is gonna be really good. It's kind of similar to this, but a little more. I'm going to do a glow up video. I'm going to be getting a lip flip, getting a tattoo, getting my lashes done, getting my nails done, tanning, everything, because I want a glow up. So, that's next week's video. So, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.